Welcome, here's the election according to the latest polls, and let's start. There we go, so we're less than four weeks away from the election. We can start off for Nevada, and in Nevada, with less than 28 days to go, Harris is leading in the estimates on 538 by 1%, and the latest poll from the Telegraph sponsored has Harris also by 1%, so... Yeah, because it's 1% on the dot, I do have to give this as a Harris victory by a lean margin. Could easily drop to a tilt margin. I mean, it's barely technically a lean victory for her, according to the polls. But yeah, we can now move on to Arizona. In the Grand Canyon State, Trump's leading by a 1.5% on the estimate and the latest poll from RMG has this almost as a Trump victory by 5%, technically so. Yeah, it's 4%. So, on average, that would mean a Trump victory by a round of almost 3%. So, according to the polls, Arizona is likely going to be a flip for Donald Trump. So, yeah, 3%, 2.75 victory for Trump right here. And for Alaska, no new polls, unfortunately. So, yeah, it's going to be a likely our victory for him. And now for New Mexico. In the atomic state of New Mexico, no new polls. Estimate has this by 8.2. So, yeah, likely D victory for uh, Harris, not Donald Trump. And now for Texas. In this state, Trump leads by 6.3% on the national average, or I should say the average on 538. RMG latest poll two weeks ago has this as a Trump victory by 7%. So yeah, looks like he's going to win by more than what he did in 2020, but not too much. And now let's go to Florida, his home state, of course. In the Sunshine State, Trump is at 4% in the estimate. Latest poll from ActiVote actually has this at 6%. So just barely by technicality, Donald Trump is leading in this state by 5%. So a likely victory for him and an upstick in the margin since the last video. And now let's go to Georgia. Peach State is at 1.1% in the 538 estimate. Latest poll from the Telegraph yet again has this as an even margin. It's a few weeks old, so not too much. So yeah, still tilt our victory for Donald Trump by less than 1%. Still very close. And now we can actually talk about a new state in this series for South Carolina, where in the last 10 days, we actually got a new poll from Winthrop and it has Trump by 10%. So unfortunately, this is a big L538. There is no estimate, but I gotta go with the latest poll. And that means Trump victory by 10%. And uh, yeah, we can now move on to North Carolina, which is a must uh, watch. I say that because the estimate has Trump winning by 0.8%, which is already close. But the latest poll from ActiVote has Harris winning by 2%. So if we, if we average that out, that does mean that Harris is actually barely winning this state. And this is not my personal prediction to be honest so yeah according to the polls technically speaking harris is in fact winning the state by i think 0.6 percent not my prediction just what the polls are saying and sometimes the polls can be wrong in my opinion but yeah let's go to virginia where republicans are spending on a lot of money and estimates shows this as a 7.6 victory for harris so nothing unusual last poll from christopher University has this by 11%, so that means around like a 9.25-ish victory for Harris, so nothing out of the ordinary. But for a new addition for New Jersey, New Jersey finally had a new poll in from ActiVote yet again, showing Harris barely winning this state by 12%, so still, it's not a likely state, but barely a safe state. And let's just go to New York while we're here. Uh, New York, I think, finally got an estimate, and it has Harris by 14.2%. And the last poll from ActiVote actually shows this as a Harris victory by almost the same margin as Biden in 2020. So yeah, not much to say there. Safety, of course. And now for New Hampshire, a state that went to Biden in 2020 by Trump in 2016. And 2024, it's actually showing Harris winning by 6.8% the estimate. And St. Anselm... Last poll from uh, the last five days, six days, has Harris winning by 7%. So yeah, average that out would be a 6.9% victory for Harris. So barely a swing to the right from 2020. Fortunately, we haven't gotten any new polls from Maine. So just like the last video, I'm not going to waste your time. 
main or large, likely D, and second district, likely R. And as you notice, Nebraska at large is actually not filled in yet, so we're gonna talk about that. We haven't gotten any new polling for uh, the second district, so we can just put that out as a victory for Harris by around 7-9%, just like in the last video. But as you can see, the both Finch group actually has uh, Maine overall at large, I should say uh, Nebraska at large, only going for Trump by 11%, so that is within, that is below my 12th margin, safe margin category for safe states, so yeah, I gotta put this in a likely margin category, barely. And for Iowa, no recent polling, but la last poll is from uh, Signal, which shows this as a 7% victory, and if you average the last the other poll from Seltzer, that does mean likely our victory for Trump by 5.5%. So yeah, barely a victory for him by a likely margin. And for Minnesota, Estima has this as a 6.0 victory for Harris. Latest poll from Telegraph from less than a week ago has this by 8%. So yeah, that technically does mean a 7% victory on the dot for Harris Walls in 2024. And before I forget, for Ohio, nothing new in the Buckeye State. Trump leads by almost 9% on the estimate. Active vote uh, has this by 7%. So yeah, easy win for the Trump Vance ticket. In 2024 here, we can now move on to Michigan. Michigan, where it's I think it's getting a bit tighter, yeah. So uh, Harris leads in the estimate, estimate by 1.6%. And then the red field... A uh, uh, Telegraph poll from within last week has this as a 2% victory for Harris, I should say. Any of you average that out, that does mean 1.8 victory for her, so it's a lean D margin for her in 2024. And now let's go to Wisconsin. And as you can see, this is the exact same estimate as Michigan by 1.6% for Harris. Latest poll from the Telegraph yet again within the last week has this as a Harris victory by only 1%, so yeah, that is technically a lean D victory for her by 1.3%, but bear in mind, polls in Wisconsin tend to be a bit off to the left, so who knows, uh, this is not my actual prediction, just what the polls are saying, and now for Pennsylvania, the last state. In the Keystone State, Harris is leading by 0.7% in the estimate, there we go. And the Telegraph, Redfield, yet again with a new poll within the week, has Harris winning Barely by 1%, so yeah, that will mean a victory for Harris by below 0.9% in 2024. And with four weeks left into the election, we can compare last week's polling map from week 5 to this week's. And this means Harris wins with 292 electoral votes, while Trump gets 246 electoral votes. Let me know what your map looks like. Feel free to leave a like or join the channel membership, and have a good one.